By now I think that a good portion of the public, at least externally, is aware of what body shaming is and actively tries to keep from saying negative things about each other's bodies. Internet trolls aside. My generation was raised simultaneously with the knowledge of what eating disorders were and how negative they could be for the people who had them, and the growing obesity epidemic in America that schools, doctors, and politicians were all trying to fight. Mixed messages about size and weight are all common in media, but magazines, pop songs, clothing lines, and even soap commercials are working to try to push for, if not affirmation for all bodies, then at least a greater range. And most people have learned not to talk about each other's weights just to decrease that pressure. All of that goes out the window with strip clubs. Some clubs even weigh girls before they're allowed to work. Or they're forced to work day shift only until they drop a few pounds. It isn't that there's a set shape that dancers have to be. They come in many sizes. But generally, the thinner and smaller a girl makes, the more money she makes. Unless she has a great ass. And we do talk about it in the dressing rooms. Girls who hate their stomachs or their butts or their breast size, even after a $700 night. Strippers are more likely to get cosmetic surgery done because of the pressure. Customers act like internet trolls on the regular, asking a slightly bloated girl if she's pregnant, or telling dancers that she's too fat or too thin for him. These men are sometimes heavyset themselves, but either way, lack the intelligence, creativity, maturity, courage, empathy, or life skills to be able to put themselves in anyone else's shoes. It's never been a mystery why these guys are in strip clubs. They literally cannot get a woman to hang out with them unless they're paying her, because they act like this. While I have never personally seen one dancer body shame another, it has happened to some of my friends. I have known girls of all sizes to start dancing because they love dancing, and then quit quickly because all of the comments harken back to eating disorders that they had back when they were in high school that they haven't had to deal with since. On the other hand, the club can be a body-affirming experience. There's always dancers and even customers willing to tell you how beautiful they think you look. And any money that you make is someone deciding that you're so attractive to them that they're going to pay for your time. For me, stripping was a catalyst to loving my body. And it wasn't until I started stripping that I really bloomed. So, remembering that strippers are just folks, be careful what you say. You don't get special ownership of us to say whatever you want to say, no matter how much or how little you're spending. Let your money talk, if you have any. And otherwise, remember that old adage, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. That's this week's Monday in the Dressing Room. I hope to see you next Monday, which I believe will be a vlog. For now, please subscribe and like this video if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.